That's my family name, like a say name. So all our family names are related to nature, mm. from different types of animals, birds, reptiles, trees, mountains, and also aquatic like fish and crocodiles. So Nube means monkey. Okay. Yes. We don't choose these names, but we have inherited them from our forefathers. Okay. So they are our family names. We pass them from generation to generation. Mm. Like I am Nube. My children, they are the Nubes. My father was Nube. My grandfather Nube. My grand grand grandfathers were the Nubes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, now in our culture. Uh, the animal that you are related to, you are not supposed to eat that animal. Okay. okay. Yes. Like, go away. <laughs> when you are Gwenya, Gwenya is a crocodile. Okay. You are not supposed to eat a crocodile. Oh, okay. When you are Siwanda, Siwanda is a lion. You are not supposed to eat a lion's flesh. You are Ndovu, Ndovu is an elephant. No elephant's flesh for you. Mm. Uh, it's taboo for you to eat the animal that you are related to. It's like you are eating your own flesh. Yeah. Right. Yes. Instead, you have to protect the animal that you are related to. Okay. Yes. Mm. Uh, it was the way our forefather used to prevent nature. Because long, long back, we didn't have, have these organizations who do with anti-poaching. Yeah. Right. So it was the way our forefather used to do with anti-poaching. Okay. Mm. Because if we monkeys go around killing a lot of our impalas, the people are related to Mpala, they are not happy with us. They will stop us. Right. Because they will say, you are eliminating our family names. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, same applies on marriages. If your family name is Nube, yes. her family name Nube, you cannot be married. Right. We believe that is same blood. So yeah, you are yeah. just brothers and sisters. Yeah. Right. So you okay. can not be married. Okay. Yes. Our marriages are not arra a a a arranged. You can choose your partner. Okay. Uh, now, in our culture, for my daughter to tell me that she has got a, a girlfriend, a, a boyfriend, in our culture, that is disrespect. Oh, right. So, my daughter, you can only share your secrets with your auntie, my sister, your oh. auntie, your uncle. Your grandmother, okay. your grandfather, okay. not with your parents. Hmm. Ah. Now the auntie's duty uh, is to find out, out what type of a boyfriend. Okay. Yes. Hmm. You, you tell your auntie about your boyfriend, also the family that your boyfriend is from. Then the auntie's duty is to find out what type of a boyfriend. Okay. And also the family that he is from. Okay. Are they good people? When our daughter gets married to him, are you going to have uh, a good future? A, a happy future. Yeah. That is the auntie's duty now. Okay. When the auntie proves that they are good people, that's when the aunt come and tell your parents now. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yes. So things can start from there. Because with us, when our daughter is marrying somebody, we charge that somebody for our daughter. Yes. Because she's now leaving our family, mm -hmm. she's going to go join that family. Right. She now belongs to that family. We have educated our daughter, maybe. Yes, maybe we, 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 we had a chance to educate our daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, now, she's a, a hard worker. She's beautiful. Your family is going to benefit from our daughter. What are we going to get in return? Okay. Right. So, we charge, that is, uh, we call that Lobola. 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 So, we charge Lobola. Okay. So, culturally, the Lobola is paid in form of cows. cows. Because in the village we don't have a permanent source of income. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. My son, when he's child, I am the I'm one. The, the parents are the ones who are responsible mm. for that lobola. See, mm -hmm. so we are to help our son okay. so yes. that we can pay the lobola. Okay. Yes. Okay. How many cows usually? Now it depends on the families. Okay. Uh -huh. Some they can understand that ah the. The two are just uh, forming a relationship between the two families. So okay. that family and that family, now, now we are one family. So we want uh, just uh, three cows. Okay. Also, the groom is, got, uh, is given just to bargain. 
bag, asking for some discount. Oh, yes. okay. <laughs> <laughs> but now some some families they can take that advantage. Now they say, oh no 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 no, we want eight cows. Yes. Mm. But also the good part of it is that when we charge him eight cows, he can ask for some discount. Also, he doesn't have to pay those cows once. Okay. Pay in. Stone. Okay. Even after okay. 10, 15, 20 years, you can still. Oh, wow. Ah, okay. Yeah. That's okay. the good part. Okay. okay. All right. Look at it. So, do. Once the like the daughter marries, do she change, her name changes to the. Yes. Okay. The husband's okay. Yes, it's family. Okay. She now misses. Okay. Love, which is Mrs. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now. Uh, our lives relies on farming. We do farming, trying to produce our own food. Yeah. Yes, but nowadays we've got some changes on the weather. Yeah. We are no longer receiving enough rains. Wow. And uh, also now our harvest is not even enough for our consumption. What we are getting. Mm. Yes. Sometimes the rains they come early and disappear early as well. Sometimes they delay disappear aid. So you find that in, in about five years' time, maybe only one year is paid out. In this area, also the type of soils that we have. This is too sandy. Right. It's not rich. It doesn't get a lot of water when it's raining. This is very poor soils. So we try by all means to utilize manure from our cows, mm -hmm. trying to fetch out the land. Yes. Yeah. Now we grow things like uh, maize. Mm -hmm. Maize is our staple food, so we always crush corn into powder. Mm -hmm. Then we make what we call pap. No pap? Yes. That palenta big porridge. Yeah. Yes. Yes. During the rain season, that's when we grow a lot of uh, green vegetables. We eat pumpkin leaves. Uh, there is a type of wild beans that we grow. So we also eat the leaves as well for vegetables. Also, we have got a lot of wild vegetables that grow free in our food during the rainy season. So we eat all those vegetables. Now what we do, we have is those vegetables in big bulks, boil them, add salt, then we sun dry them, dry them under the sun. Okay. When they are dried up, we keep them in our houses, so that during the dry season, we have something to eat. Yes. Those vegetables are served with cornmeal. Mm. That's our staple food. Okay. Meat only on special occasions. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. We keep chickens, goats, uh, cows, but they are not for meat. Only meat for on occasion, on special occasions. Okay. Yes. Uh, chickens, our chickens during the day, they are just a free range looking for food. Oh. Then they, in the in the evening, they've got can cook that side way. Okay. Yes. Now during the yes. <laughs> during the dry season, we grab these chickens. We go to other villages where they have better soils and okay. better for food. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. So and how we, how many people live here? I see you got one, two, three, four, five. Here we are fourteen. Okay. okay. Some Hello. of the... Hello. Hello. How are you? Hi. All right. This is my wife. Oh, Hi. Okay. So nice. Okay. So now, uh, during the rain season, that's when we milk our cows. Okay. During the dry season, like now, we don't milk them because they are also not getting enough water, enough food. Yeah. So we don't milk them. Yes. Okay. We use them, our cows also for, on farming, they are the ones to pull the plow. So we use them for tilling. Okay. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay, any questions before we walk around? No. Uh, How old are people usually when they get married? Uh, we always encourage them that 25 to 30. Oh, okay. Yes. Because we bad. don't want early marriages. Early right. marriages, they cause divorces. Oh, yes. okay. Yeah. And how long have you lived here? Twenty-nine years. Okay. Oh, okay. Was this where your where your father's home? Oh, my grandfather. 
Okay. Ah, okay. Cool. Cool. So the, you said 14 people live here? Yes. Yep. So Extended family. So yeah. your wife, who else? I, my wife, our ch five children. Okay. Also, we have got uh, two cousins, one nephew, and also grandchildren. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. okay. Cool. Also, we have people who practice polygamy, even more than one. Oh, yeah. Oh. They are those with a lot of cows, they know they can pay their. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if he, he wants to be a polygamist, he doesn't have to think about it, then get on it. You have to, you have to convince your first wife first. Oh. That is in order to maintain her happiness. Right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. If she's not happy about that, so you have to obey her. <laughs> right, right. No worries. <laughs> I don't have enough cows. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so now the idea of marrying more than one wife was, um, like I said, we are subsistence farmers. Right. So it was the way of uh, applying mm. more labor. Right. Because when I have three wives, which means we've got more children. So more labor. Yeah. Family. Yes. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can we walk around? 